Hey guys, this is Adrian in for Modio, and we're just going to quickly go over how to output your animations into a video file so that you can either share it with the masses or your boss or just to watch it uh, for yourself. So this is the same animation we just created in the last episode. And to output this into a video file, you need to add it to the render queue. So select your composition, head up to the composition tab, and click add to render queue. And that'll bring it here into your render queue with some default settings. So in this top bar, you'll see there's some pretty uh, complex settings. A couple important ones would be motion blur. If you want to make sure that no motion blur is on, you can turn it off for all of the layers. Uh, the time span, you can either select your work area or the entire length of the composition. You can also just output a specific resolution if you just want, uh, say, a, a rough render uh, as a rough draft, which may have otherwise taken a long time to render at full resolution. That could be something you're interested in. Now in the output module, if you click this arrow here, you'll see that there's several defaults, um, including lossless, which is probably going to be your best bet as it's going to output your video with no compression. Now you can also create your own templates if you find that you need to output a specific movie format and it's not listed in this drop down here. To do that, you just head to the bottom and click make template and it's going to create a new one for you automatically. So new template and go ahead and click edit. Uh, so you can change the format here. If you want H.264, you can change it or a target sequence, quick time. Uh, you can also change the specific codec associated with, for instance, QuickTime. It has all these built-in presets. So obviously, too many options to count. It may change based on the project you're working on, but generally, uh, a type of lossless codec such as PNG or animation are going to most likely suit your needs. So if you click OK, now we have a new template. You can actually select that new template as the default. So every time you add something to the render queue, it will now use that preset that you have just created. So you can click OK. So once you set your output destination, click Save. If we go ahead and click Render over here on the right, it will render your movie and appear as a movie file. And it's as simple as that. Now a quick tip for compressing for YouTube, what we use is Adobe Media Encoder, which is a very useful way to compress videos. Uh, to use that, you can just go ahead and drag it into this work area over here, and just use any of the number of YouTube presets that it comes with, and it will guaranteed look fantastic on YouTube. So you simply drag a preset over your file, and if you go ahead and render it, it'll just show up in the same place that it pulled the source file from. But needless to say, it'll also be much smaller than the original, which is uh, great for uploading times in general. So, there you have it, a quick overview of outputting your animations into movie files. We hope to see you next time.